do they get the caffeine out of this little bean? Let's talk about that. Hello again, Amber here. Caffeine is great. It gives us the jolt we need to wake up in the morning and get to work, and it improves our focus and dexterity throughout the day. But for some, caffeine just makes them jittery or upsets their digestive system. Thankfully, there's decaf, but a lot of people get concerned with the way coffee is decaffeinated. Luckily, these days, we actually have some really ethical, clean ways of going about it. But on the other hand, some companies still use chemicals in their decaffeination process. So you'll want to look for two specific processes. How do these two methods extract the caffeine out of the tasty coffee beans? Well, in the Swiss water process, coffee is soaked in super hot water to make the beans more porous and draw out caffeine. This soaking process also dissolves the flavor particles found in the coffee, so the water is then put through a carbon filter that removes all of the large caffeine molecules and leaves the flavor molecules behind. The newly decaffeinated coffee is then soaked in this carbon filtered water to add the flavor back to the beans. Pretty clever if I don't say so myself. The CO2 process is a little bit different. In the CO2 process, the coffee also starts out in a water bath to make the beans more porous, but this time the water is not hot enough to draw the caffeine out. Instead, they put the soaked coffee beans in a stainless steel extraction vessel where CO2 is then forced in at enormous amounts of pressure, about 1,000 PSI to be exact. This pressure draws out caffeine molecules but leaves the flavor alone. So if you like to drink decaf coffee, be sure to look for one of those two methods. That being said, caffeine is a major chemical component of coffee, and there's no way to completely remove 100% of it. So if even minute traces of caffeine are dangerous to you, it is best to avoid coffee altogether. Thanks for watching, folks. I'm Amber, and I'll see you again next week.